Hey everybody, Carlos Kidman here. Uh, I'm doing a little series where I'm going to be answering questions, um, but like a lot deeper, rather than just doing more like theory and having guests and talking about stuff like that. I'm looking to dive in, you know, get into the nitty gritty, if you will, and actually do some coding and some examples. Uh, I have a lot of people ask me questions about how to do things or my take on different um, tools like Selenium and things within them. Uh, how I approach my frameworks and whatnot. So uh, instead of trying to answer each person and somebody else having the same question and answering that same question with the same answer, uh, I'm going to try to actually record the answers and then share them with as many people as I can. So that's what I'll be looking to do. And I'll upload these to uh, my YouTube channel. Um, just QA at the point for the Kidman Media Group. So the first thing we're going to be doing today is uh, I, I've gotten a lot of this question and even today I got the same question of how do you select options and drop downs? So with that, you'll see around me, um, there's statsroyale.com. It's a, it's a website that I always play around with. Um, I actually don't play Clash Royale, but hey, if you play Clash, here you go. Uh, it's just it's a great way to just jump in and start coding stuff and automating things. So uh, anyway, the first thing I wanted to show in this was here we are at statsroyale.com. If you look here, you have a top lists and decks. So I'm going to show you kind of what the flow we want to do. And then once you see the flow, then we'll move into the code and you'll see that. And it'll be in C sharp because, you know, sexiness. So what we want to do is we want to get to statsroyale.com. We want to open this decks and go to popular decks because, you know, I'm just uh, going to net deck and just pull whatever is working. And then in here we have these drop downs. So you have like the type, right? There's a ladder and tournaments and whatnot. We have the arena that you want to be playing in. And then how do you want to sort that as well? So you'll see that all of these are drop downs. So this is what we'll be playing with. Uh, so yeah, so the first thing I want to point out is that this top lists and this decks, they look like drop downs, but these are not drop downs. Uh, this is one of the biggest things that I see people do is because it looks like a drop down, they assume it's a drop down. So one quick way to see this is right clicking on the element and inspecting it, you'll see here that this is actually an anchor, right? So if we open this up, it's just an anchor that when you click on it, it reveals two more elements, right? So this is not a drop-down element. If you were to try to select an, a drop-down on it, it wouldn't actually work. So with that, this one here, the way that you would manipulate this is by actually locating this anchor, the dex element, clicking on that to reveal popular and challenge dex, and then clicking on popular or challenge. So from there, click dex, click popular dex, and then it would open this page up here. Now, these three are actually drop downs and when we inspect these you'll see immediately that this type of element is a select element this is what we're looking for and you'll see here we have the options within the drop down right and so here you have ladder tournaments 2v2 battle on and so forth so we click on this ladder tournaments 2v2 battle going on right so the way that you select these is you first have to find the select element itself once you have control of the select element you found it you're able to actually use in Selenium, you're able to use three different um, methods essentially. There's a special class called Select Element that uh, gives you the ability to select by text, select by value, or select by index. So looking here, you'll see I'm highlighting option, value, ladder, ladder, and this this option here. So first off is the index of this would be zero, right? Because an array-based index would be zero. Uh, so here, if I wanted ladder, if I were to say select by index, I would just pass in zero and it would select the ladder. Uh, if I want to select by value, well, then right here you have value equals ladder, right? If you select by text, well, here's the text. The text is ladder with an uppercase L. And it's as easy as that. I kid you not, that's how you select the elements. So now that we see the flow, step one, get to stats royale. Step two, go to popular decks. And step three, let's just select one of these drop downs, ladder, tournaments, 2v2 battle, whichever one of these, right? That'll be it. So we won't do any assertions or anything right now because I do want these videos to be uh, not very long, pretty quick and short and to the point. So that way, if people have more questions on this, they can uh, post on the channel or hit me up on LinkedIn or Twitter or whatnot, and then we can expand on that. So let's get right to the code. So here you'll see, again, I'm using Visual Studio and I have uh, my Mac open. So this is all in .NET Core. 
Uh, and sadness, I have eight warnings. These eight warnings are because eventually soon, um, we'll see here if I open up airs, these expected conditions class uh, is actually getting, is deprecated and it's going to be gone by the time they roll out the next one or two versions. So that's another time, another story, but for now, let's just focus on this. So here I am with my test class. Uh, this is a very small project I created uh, for QA at the point. Uh, so we'll be using this. So here you'll see my test class, and then I have my setup, my cleanup, and the actual test itself. So that's Royale, select drop down options. So again, step one, I'm going to go to Stats Royale. I'm going to go to the popular decks, and then from there I'm going to select the deck type, which we saw was this one right here, ladder, tournaments, the deck type that we want to see. And then here I'm going to do this one by index. So that way we can see that, uh, and I'll show you all three, but here in the actual test, you'll see option index of two. And so if we go here, index of two would mean ladder is zero, tournaments is one, and then TV2 battle is, is two, right? Kind of weird, I'm going like this three and I'm saying two and going like this, you know? It's like from Shrek when he goes, hey, pick two, my lord, and he goes with a three, right? So anyway, so we have this 2v2 battle, right? Uh, this would be the one that it probably selects because an index of two means give me option three. So 2v2 battle is probably the one it's going to select. So let's go over here. And then right here, like I said, the, the weight is for demo purposes. Um, we shouldn't do these explicit weights, but it doesn't matter. Let's open this up here and let's run the test. I'm gonna switch over here and let's see it run. Let's see what it does. So here it goes again, hands-free, it's all automated. Selects 2v2 battle, and there we go, right? So very, very simple. Again, I just want you to see that selecting by index is a very uh, viable option. So the next thing I want to show you is if we go to this popular decks page class right here, uh, we'll see I'm using the, the very awesome page object model. But here, these selectors that I'm finding are the actual dropdowns. So I have the deck type dropdown the arena type drop down, and then the sort by drop down, which would again would be deck type, let me go back one page, deck type, arena, and then sort by, right? Simple enough. So in here you'll see these three methods on line 27, line 33, and line 39. I did each one of these with all three, so that way you can see selecting the deck type by index, selecting arena type by text, and select sort by with the value. Right? So the biggest thing to take away right now is this select element class. I'm gonna hover over it real quick so we get a, a bit more information. So you'll see select element, you pass in an iWeb element, so again, the element that you found, and then using that element, we can then say, with this element, we're gonna select by something, right? So let's say select, and we have all these options that we can do. We can say select by text, select by index, or select by value. Now you'll see that text takes a string, index takes an integer, and value takes a string as well. So if I wanted to do it by value, right, in here I'd have to say, okay, if I want to do the 2v2 battle, and we go over here, 2v2 battle, the value is just 2v2, right? So if I were to copy this and throw it in here, well, now I'm selecting it by the value instead of by the index. Right, so that's essentially how you find which one you wanna do. Um, if you're doing it dynamically, usually you go with the index, unless you know which options you're gonna have, then you can select e any one you want. You wanna do it by value, do it by text, you can do either way, so that works. So let me get rid of that. So again, select by index, select by text, and select by value. I kid you not, you guys, that is it. It's pretty simple. Uh, let me go back here. In the test themselves, we can say, pages.populardex.select, give me my arena type, and then pass in whatever arena type you want. So if I were to go here, let's inspect this, and let's say we want to do arena one, because that's how we roll. We're gonna copy this, arena one, and then here, oops, we paste this in arena one, and now it's going to select the arena type of arena one. And that's it. Kid you not, guys, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up. Uh, I know the, the video is nice and short and sweet and to the point, but that is the whole point of QA on points. But anyway, so uh, select elements in Selenium, very powerful, very easy to use. Um, and if you look here, 
it's off of this library on line three. So openqa.selenium.support.ui. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Hit me up with any questions either on the YouTube channel, uh, on LinkedIn, or on Twitter. Thanks again.